All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, over Chakwadash, with Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and Chakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and all sincerity. And today I just want to get into a quick lesson about how don't envy the wicked, all right? And remember their latter end. You know, and um, pretty much I was inspired to do this lesson because um, as I was uh, working last night, you know, I was around basically... Um, you know, Edomites with money, okay? And I um, I tend to be around, you know, um, I, actually, I'll say this. I'm around all sorts of social classes, all right? But there's a lot of times where I do deal with, you know, Edomites, heathens, and even two-thirds of our people with money. And at times, you know, because it's the flesh, you know, you get envious of that. You know, you get tired of seeing how the wicked prosper and how the righteous are suffering, you know, it becomes an aggravation. You know, you get vexed in the spirit. But we understand, as you know, men of the Lord, that, you know, these things, you know, were to occur. All right. This is something that was set up by Yahweh Bashim al Shai. You know, you see, the, the, this is the world of, uh, of the Gentiles right now. And in particular, Esau, Edom, this is his time to reign. This is his rulership. Okay. But you also have. You know, the heathens that are, you know, prospering as well, too. Because if you, um, you know, let's just say go to a uh, Ishmaelite neighborhood, they're doing well. Okay, they're doing real good. All right, hey, you go to, you know, particular, you know, you know, uh, 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 you know, ham neighborhoods. All right, they're doing well. Moab, so on and so forth. You know, these, you know, these heathens are doing very, very, you know, well right now. And like I said, even two thirds of our own people, because you got some of our people, all right, that are so called making it in this world right now. You know, they got the, you know, the, the Porsches, you know, they got the, the, the BMWs, the Audis, you know. They got themselves a nice condo or a nice house. All right, so on and so forth. And it, it's vexing seeing that because we know that uh, the majority of our people who make it in this world, they had to do something wicked, you know, behind closed doors. Okay. And like I said, all in all, it's just, you know, a vexation at times, you know, but hey, we can't be envious of these people because look, remember their latter end. Remember what the scriptures talk about, which we're going to pull out scriptures about, you know, the destruction of, you know, basically the wicked. OK, starting off with Esau and then, you know, it trickles down to the heathens and then two thirds of our people. Their latter end is going to be nothing but pain, agony, mourning. OK sufferings that's what's coming to them you know the lord's about to you know flip the script so to speak all right so um now let's get into these scriptures let's start off with psalm 73 we're actually going to go through a chunk of this all right this is psalm 73 and 1 and it reads here a psalm of asaph truly yahweh the almighty is good to israel even to such as are of a clean heart but as for me my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. You see, you know, even ancient men of the Lord had their times, you know, where, where they uh, slipped, okay? They became envious. And it's going to happen to us. You know, we're in the flesh. And it gets, you know, aggravating, you know, to see this on a daily basis okay you know it's very frustrating but that's why we have to you know um you know take ourselves out of that you know situation and think spiritually at all times okay like i said we got to remember that look this is the time of the gentiles they're supposed to be on top they're supposed to be above us hey two thirds of our people are supposed to you know have a you know uh, a little something on this side. What do the scriptures talk about? They receive their consolation, you know. Okay, you see. Hey, but you know, 
their end is going to be terrible. Just keep that in mind, brothers. All right. But let's keep reading. Verse 4, Psalm 73 and 4 now. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. All right. And, you know, this is mainly going into Esau. Hey, they're not troubled as other men. They're not plagued like other men. Hey, they can commit crimes and just, you know, enjoy a fabulous life, you know. Hey, they'll go to the Caribbeans, enjoy, you know, uh, the islands, you know, enjoy a pina colada, all right. Enjoy swimming with the dolphins. They can go to the Swiss Alps, go hiking, you know. See, you know, the, the beautiful world that the Lord has created, you know. They don't have to worry about money. They don't have to worry about persecution. Okay? You see? Alright, but hey, this is their time. This is their portion. Okay? Remember, Esau did get a blessing. Alright? Now let me keep reading. This is uh, verse 6. Therefore, pride compasseth them about as a chain. And what did the scripture say in the book of Obadiah? Hey, that the... Uh, that the uh, uh, pride has uh, deceived thee, all right? It's deceived Esau, all right? Because what, what happens? Let's get it real quick when you're prideful. Let's get it real fast. And what is that? The book of uh, Proverbs. I think it's the uh, 16th chapter. It says, pride goeth before destruction, okay? So remember that. Here we go, verse 18. This is... Um, Proverbs 16 and 18, and it reads here, Pride goeth before destruction. You see, before one's destruction, pride is there. Okay? Pride is there. And so, hey, hey, you know, and we know that Esau is full of pride. And he's going to get taken down. The Lord is going to uh, 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 humble him and show him that he's the boss. Okay? Yahweh Bashim al is going to show these Edomites that, hey, they're the ones in control. Hey, they're the ones who, you know, um, you know, bring it down and set it up. Okay? So it says here in Proverbs 16 and 18, pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Okay? You see? Now let's go back to that uh, Psalms. This is uh, Psalm 73 and 6. Therefore, pride can pass to them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. And we know these Edomites... Hey, they got this world by what? Rape, robbery, murder, basically ill-gotten gain. Was it that John 10 and 10? The thief cometh not but to uh, uh, steal, kill, and destroy. Okay? And they, the heathens follow after, you know, in like manner. And also two-thirds of our people. That's why Yahweh Shai, he made that statement. You know, he, he, he said it to the wicked scribes and Pharisees. But in, hey, I'll say this. This is in general for all Israelites. Hey, ye are of your father, the devil, man. All right? Yeah, you're just like hey, your daddy, Esau, Edom. And that's because you follow after his ways. Okay? Hey, but see, our people, they're about to get hit hard real soon. Okay, because those who are joining hand in hand, they're going to get thrust through, man. All right? They're going to get thrust through. Hey, they're, they're about to feel this, uh, the, the, hey, this wrath. Okay? Let me keep reading. Verse uh, 7. This is Psalm 73 and 7. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. All right? Exactly. They have more than their heart could wish. They have this world. They, 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 they're doing good, man. Okay, let me keep reading. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak lawfully. All right? They, they, this is a corrupt people. You know? They speak wickedly concerning oppression. They, 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 they don't want you to talk about, you know, how they got this world. You know, the, you know, the, the, the ill got, how they got everything by ill-gotten gain. Okay? They speak, you know, basically pridefully. You know, they got their nose up in the air. You know? They don't think they're S-H-I-T. Okay? Doesn't stink. You know? 
And that's because they got everything right now. Hey, but very soon the Lord is going to uh, uh, throw them down. Let's keep reading. They set their mouth against the heavens. All right. And how do they do that? Hey, by pushing these wicked uh, ideologies and philosophies out here. You got the alphabet boy gang. Okay. You know that that's uh, uh that's being exalted. You got women as being raised up. Hey, there's this thing called democracy, which everyone knows about, which that goes into basically demon a demon rulership. They push that forth on the earth, which brings nothing but a wicked, you know, vibration to the people. Okay, you see, you know, hey, they say that they're the most high. They say that technology is better than Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Alright? You see? And it says, and their tongue walketh through the earth. And that means that their philosophies go throughout the whole earth. You know, their ideologies, their a, a whatever they, they, they feel that's, you know, on point, they're gonna push on the you know onto the people. You see? Now let's keep reading. Verse 10. Therefore his people return hither. And waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. And they say, How doeth the Most High know? And is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. You see, the ungodly, they prosper in the world. They increase in riches. You know? And that's because the world is given what? Into the hands of the wicked right now. Hey, if you do wicked you know, acts and deeds, you get a promotion in this place. Okay, hey, we always talk about it. Hey, you, if you're an alphabet boy, all right, part of the alphabet gang, you're a, you, you, you went from a, you know, a cashier to a, a damn near a CEO in a matter of six months. You feel me? You know? <laughs> all right, hey, hey, hey you, you do things like that. Now you got uh, sponsorships. Okay? You know? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, you you steal from the people? It's cool, man. You know, it's cool in this society. Hey, you 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 uh, rap about committing you know adultery. You rap about killing your brother. Hey, now you're getting um an interview with, with Jimmy Fallon. Okay, you getting any interview with uh, Ellen DeGeneres? That's what happens, man. All right, but let's keep reading. It says, Verily I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocency. All right. For all the day long I have been plagued and chastised every morning. And that's talking about the righteous, man. Okay. Hey, well, you know, at times it feels like we're doing everything in vain. And that's because we don't, you know, for lack of words, see the, uh, uh, you know, the, the results right away. Hey, but remember... You know, even I'll say this, you know, even bodybuilders say this. What? You know, and not just bodybuilders. Hey, anybody that's in, um, let's just say, uh, 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 some type of art, you know, some type of, um, you know, business, whatever, right? They say what? Trust the process. You got to trust the process. Just because you don't see those, you know, results right away. Hey, that doesn't mean things aren't, you know, working. Okay? You got to remember. Hey, you got to do a little here, a little there. In order to see them big results, man. Okay? And see, that's what's happening for us. We may not necessarily see everything right away. But things are, hey, things are happening, Akim. Remember that. Hey, hey the Lord is, uh, is, um, he's working. He, he, he's moving. Things are speeding up. You just got to pay attention. That's why you got to watch and pray. Okay? You know? But sometimes, like, you know, because we're in this flesh, it doesn't seem like things are moving. It, you know? All right, let's keep uh, 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 reading. Oh, and by the way, a uh, quick little footnote. You know, when you go into that word chastisement, that goes into moraling and proving somebody. So we go, you know, we get our correction now so we can be morally improved. So basically, we can be, you know, better men of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, man. All right? Basically, the Lord just uh, the Lord is purging us right now. He's uh, uh, He's getting those impurities out of us. You know what does it say? Acceptable men are tried in the furnace of adversity. And the Lord said we're gonna do. What is He gonna do for uh, to us? 
He's going to put us in the furnace of affliction. Okay, the, the Lord is, um, is purposely doing these things to us to make us better. And all, ultimately, it's making us what? Hate this world more? Okay, it's making us detached from this place. And that's a good thing. Because we're not supposed to like it here. We're not supposed to be content. Okay, we're supposed to hate our lives. We're supposed to, you know, want to get out of this place. We're supposed to seek, you know, a, 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 a kingdom. All right. Let me keep reading. It says, uh, verse 15. If I say I will speak thus, behold, I should offend against the generation of thy children. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me until I went into the sanctuary of the Most High then and understood I their end. All right. You see. And that's the that's the whole uh, point of all this of, of this lesson. Remember their end. OK. You see. See, once you go into the scriptures. And you, you know, you, you get, you know, precepts from, you know, let's just say Psalms. You get precepts from Revelation. You get precepts from Isaiah, Jeremiah, Wisdom of Solomon, Sirach, so on and so forth, right? You link up all these precepts. You understand that, look, the latter end of being wicked is nothing but death and destruction. So it, it, it's better off, okay, serving Yahweh Bashim al Shai, dealing with the, you know, the chastisement, okay, you know, dealing with the, the, the these little these like I, like I like to always put these little small carnal W's to ultimately get what that big spiritual W, man. All right. Let me keep reading. So it says, until I went un into the sanctuary of the Most High, then under then I then understood I their end. Surely thou didst set them in slippery places. Okay, and you gotta remember, hey, these, these uh. These Edomites to the, to the two-thirds, to the heathens, they're, they're on a slippery slope, man. Okay? They're falling and they're falling fast, man. All right? And it says here... Hold on. Hold on real quick. There you go. Okay, go. It's a lucky about that. And it says here... Hey, go sit down, okay? And it says here... Um, verse 19 How are they brought into desolation As in a moment Oh, on Salaki Let me read that again, Salaki Psalm 73 and 18 We'll finish this part Surely thou didst set them in slippery places Thou castest them down into destruction See, that's what's coming How are they brought into desolation As in a moment And you see, that's what's going to happen When the Lord takes these, uh, 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 these people uh, out It's going to be quick, man very very quick it's not going to take the lord much okay to to, to bring them to, down to their knees man okay you see and you got to remember that as a follower and believer yahweh bashim al shai all right and it says because you got to remember hey these, these people are about to lose children these people are about to lose their jobs lose your know, wives husbands okay you know lose their their, their mother fathers the, 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 man homes Hey, their, 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 their whole um, hope in America. It, it's going to be gone, man. It's going to be gone soon. Okay? Remember that. They have nothing else. See, we, we, we're, 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 we got something that these people don't have. And what is that? Vision. Okay? The Lord gave us that eye self. He gave us that vision. And we can see afar off. See, these people, they can only believe what the elites of Esau, Edom tell them. Okay? They can't see, you know, past that. All right. But see, we we, we got the, uh, you know, the the Lord gave us that 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 vision, and we we see clearly now, man. All right. And we see past this place, and that 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 freaks a lot of people out, man. That freaks a lot of people out. You know, hey, but this is not for everybody. You see, let me keep uh, reading. How are they brought into desolation as in a moment? They are utterly consumed with terrors. Hey, they, 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 these plagues are coming, man. Hey, from the famines to warfare to wild animals attacking to, um, you know, apparitions coming out. 
I was just reading that in Wisdom of Solomon the other day. That's going to be a scary sight, man. When the Lord allows, you know, the, these uh, uh, demons to manifest physically. It's going to be a scary sight, man. All right? To ultimately what? A, 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 the destruction when the, uh, the missiles drop. And when the Lord uh, um, has those chariots shoot, shoot out uh, those laser beams, man. <laughs> this is what's coming, man. All right? See, this is what's coming. All right. Now let me get um the book of Job twenty. All right, Job twenty, and uh, really, if you read this whole book, book of Job, <laughs> this is going into um, you know the destruction of uh, 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 Esau, Edom first and foremost, but then it trickles down to anybody that holds on to him, the heathens and two thirds. But we'll hop around a little bit. And maybe we'll get one more scripture to end it off. This is uh, Job 20 and 4. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short. You see, it's short. And the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. You see, it's only for a moment. And I like how uh, the elder Yaki of my camp says, look, wickedness has its time and righteousness has its eternity. That, that, that's what's ha uh, 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 happening right now. Look, hey, the, hey, wickedness has its time, all right? A moment, a moment, all right? It's short, as it just said right there. Hey, but what? Righteousness? It's going to be, you know, for an eternity. And that's what's coming. Our kingdom, all right? The kingdom of Israel. What does it say in the scriptures in Isaiah? What? Hey, that Israel shall be saved, a world, meaning an age, without end. You see? This is what's coming. So with that being said, let these people enjoy their time because we're going to get our time forever, you know, and I'd rather suffer for a little, you know, a little season. All right. For a short little season. OK, so that I can, you know, enjoy this world, you know, forever and ever. OK. You see. And. Uh, let me keep reading. Though this is uh, Job twenty and six, though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung, and that's what's gonna happen to Esau. Okay, and look, the heathens are gonna get judged too. They're not gonna get completely wiped out as a nation, but they're gonna get judged. They're gonna have to deal with hardcore slavery. Okay, and then two thirds of our people are, are gonna uh, suffer. All right, you know, death on this sign. You, uh, on this side terribly okay they're going to dwell in torments as it says in second Ezra, the ninth chapter and it says also that in the same chapter that um they're going to dwell in torments and they're going to know it you know afterwards uh or they're going to know it uh after uh by death by pain all right you see it's not it's not it's not a good look you know for for the wicked all right, let me uh, <laughs> and when you go into this, it talks about how hey, they're gonna vomit out the the riches that they stole. All right, yeah, how everything's gonna backfire on them, <laughs> you know. Yeah, you gotta read this Job 20, it's another heavy chapter, man. All right, but uh, let me uh, let me get these last few verses here, though. This is uh, Job 20 and 23 now. When he is about to fill his belly, talking about these Edomites, meaning when they're about to fulfill their enterprise, right? Their NWO agenda. The Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. See, that's what's coming. And shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Meaning while he's, you know, enjoying the riches. Okay. He shall flee from the iron weapon. All right. And this is talking about those thermonuclear missiles. He shall flee from the iron we weapon and the bow steel shall strike him through see they're not going to run away from this this is going to be their judgment it is drawn and cometh out of the body okay meaning out of the asylum okay you see yay the glittering sword which that's talking about the actual missiles cometh out of his gall terrors are upon him so when those missiles come people are going to be afraid all right all darkness shall be hid in his secret places a fire not blown shall consume him see it shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. You see, the Edomites that get destroyed, all right, 
Hey, they're gonna get judged by the missiles, right? And then look, those Edomites that survive, they're going straight into slavery. They, 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 their new jewelry is gonna be uh, chains and fetters of iron. You see? You know? You see? And then hey, what's gonna happen to those Edomites that die? Uh, you know, here on this side, they're still gonna have to serve slavery too. They're just not the first fruits. They're gonna come back, all right, through reincarnation. And they're gonna have to deal with suffering. You know, uh, 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 they're gonna deal with the suffering, man. All right, they're gonna deal with the hardcore bondage, you see? Let me finish. It says, verse 27, the heavens shall reveal his iniquity. Okay, and, and that means basically the Lord's gonna expose Esau. As it says in Jeremiah the 49th chapter, I shall make Esau a bear. All right. You see? Hey, the prophets are the, the mouthpiece of the Lord. We, we're exposing him. And then what? The scriptures also say what? His own tongue shall fall upon him. All right. And this, and this is also going into how the internet's going to expose this uh, uh, this man. Because they, those, uh, uh, the internet, right? It, 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 it um, uses what satellites, and they're in the, uh, hey, they're, they're they're in the heavens, man. Information is transferred, okay, left and right, via these satellites. You see, let's keep reading. The earth shall rise up against him, and when you go up into that word, word like rise up, I believe it's rise up. All right, that goes into um, when you look up that definition, that goes into basically a violent act, okay, of taking one down, meaning. This whole earth is going to uh, come up against Esau. All right? Hey, the animals are going to attack him. You're going to have sinkholes. You're going to have the people, you know, uh, 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 you know, you know, uh, you know, co come after them. All right? Yeah, you're going to have uh, uh, hurricanes. You're going to have, you know, storms, tornadoes. The earth is going to come up against this guy. And that's because he, he's a cancer to this world. All right? At least, let's keep going. Verse 28. The increase of his house shall depart. You see? It's going to depart. All these riches. And his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. And it says here, This is the portion of a wicked man from the Most High, Yahweh, And the heritage appointed unto him by the Most High, Yahweh. You see? Alright? At the end of the day, look. The wicked is not going to run away from judgment. They're going to have to deal with it. They're going to have to eat it up. Alright? Now let's get one more uh, uh, scripture, and this is a uh, short, straight to the point, but it's still a beautiful and heavy scripture. This is Wisdom of Solomon three and nineteen. For horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation, and we're in that unrighteous generation right now, and horrible is their end. All right. So with that being said, do not be envious of these people. Okay, Akim. You know, hey, your flesh. You know, from you know at times, you know it, it gets you know. Gets aggravated seeing these things, you get you know mad, all right. But you gotta always remember, because uh, you know their latter end. You know, read these scriptures. Just keep going, you know, into the 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 the, the uh, destruction of the wicked, and it'll boost up your spirit, and you you'll be like, you know what, the hell with this world, all right. But with that, you know, hopefully this was an edifying one. And you know, I'm gonna end it off. Hopefully, you know, like I said, hopefully it was edifying. And with that, I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shimel Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers. Shalom.